Welcome back. Uh, now we're going to start the, uh, what I think is the really cool part of chapter 10, uh, where it gets really interesting and useful uh, for scientists and engineers uh, to use series. Specifically, uh, we're going to look at these things called power series here. And uh, without further ado, uh, let's take a look in full screen. And for the first time, I'm actually going to start it in black. Okay. Uh, so, we're talking about power series. Uh, up till now, um, we've made a bunch of series of constants. Uh, until now, uh, we've made a series of constants. For instance, we would say the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 3 to the n, right? And that equals um, 1 third plus 1 ninth plus 1, uh, what's next, 27 plus 1 over 81 plus dot dot dot. Right. So these are all constants. We can add these up and we actually get a number, whatever this adds up to be. But now instead of using constants, uh, we can make, we can use a variable. Uh, and we'll use powers of a variable. to get something like this. The sum equals 1 to infinity of, how about this, uh, 2 times x, some variable, raised to the n power. So what does this equal? Uh, this would be 2x plus 4x squared plus, what comes next, 8, x cubed plus 16x to the fourth, plus dot, dot, dot. And so, uh, more generally, we can spell this out. We can say the power series, and here I'm going to go from zero, you'll see why in a second, of some coefficient c sub n, and is for co c is for coefficient, and the x goes to the power n. And this equals uh, c sub 0 times x to the 0, well that's just uh, x to the 0 is 1, so the first term is really just c sub 0, plus c1 x to the first power, but I won't write that, plus c2 x squared, plus c3 x cubed plus dot 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 right so this is generic we've got some coefficients we might have some uh, you know elaborate explicit form for the coefficients and then we've got powers of x uh, now for simplicity let's just take an example um, we'll just say uh, c sub n equals 1. All right, so now our function, uh, or I should say our uh, series from n equals 0 to infinity of this one uh, is just x of n, which equals 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus dot dot, dot. All right. Now this certainly, uh, let me make a note here, start to get the multicolor action going on. This part, and it continues on this way, this looks geometric. Right, does it look geometric to you? 
So uh, the common ratio uh, common ratio here is x. Right? Because we, we start with 1, we multiply by x, multiply by x, multiply by x, multiply by x every time. So really we should think that the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n should just equal uh, a sub 1, which is 1, over <coughs> 1 minus x. Alright, so that's interesting. We've got a series of variables, or powers of variables, so it's a power series, and that gives us, uh, you know, some function. So really, what does this say? Um, 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus dot, 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 uh, you know, to infinity, that should equal 1 over 1 minus x, right? Now I've uh, prepared a little demo for you, and so I'm going to break away here and uh, go to the demo. Alright, so here we are um, with a little mathematical demo that I made. And uh, what I've done here, uh, I've defined a, a polynomial, uh, p of x, right? big P of X, equals, this is mathematical syntax for uh, equals, 1 plus X plus X squared, blah, 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 right? Um, and I've defined some function, F of X, that equals 1 over 1 minus X. And we just talked about the fact that if I sum up all of these to infinity, it should look like this, right? And now here are the plot commands. Uh, so I'm going to evaluate p of x, evaluate f of x, plot them both from negative 2 to 2, do 1 in red, 1 in green. The green is what I'm shooting for here. This is 1 over 1 minus x. Uh, and this green line here is an asymptote. Uh, I don't know why Mathematica sticks it in there, but, <clears throat> well, I guess it's nice to see the asymptote. But here's the red line. Uh, the red line is, is p of x, right? This is my, my power series. Which, you know, I guess it, it looks all right here. Um, it's tangent, you know, maybe the curvature matches. But that's about it. So what I propose we do is add a few more terms here. Let's say uh, plus x uh, cubed plus x to the fourth and see if that changes anything. Let's see, does that make it better? So I have to go to the end of this little line of code and evaluate that. Uh, well, I don't know. Did we make any, any progress here? It, it it certainly seems to match better in this region. It maybe extends a little farther. Well, let's make note of this. It goes from uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. From 0 0.6 looks pretty good all the way out to 0 0.4 looks pretty good. Uh, again, the red is our uh, power series. The, the green is our function that we think it approaches. Uh, so let's let's add a few more. Now, to, uh, to save a little time, I pre-typed these, so I'm going to go down here and copy some. Let's go all the way out to um, the ninth term. Let's see how this guy looks, so I'll copy that, uh, go up here and paste that into place. Now, if we notice now, uh, this takes an even kind of a, a look to it. It's, it's an even function because I'm ending in, this is what I ended in 4, x to the 4th. It goes up on both sides. Now uh, I've ended on the ninth power, so I'm expecting this to be an odd function now, or odd looking. Uh, so what happens when we evaluate this? Remember, we before we looked pretty good from 0.6 to about 0.4. Let's evaluate. Ooh, okay, so now we go all the way out to almost 0 0.8. It's looking pretty good there, and it's looking really good all the way up to here, so that helps. Uh, let's add some more terms. So I left off at 9. I've got to add in... Let's go, uh, let's get crazy here, go all the way up to 19. I like ending. So we're going to add 10 more terms to this power series. Copy those, paste them up here, and uh, go back down here and evaluate this whole thing. <clears throat> Whoa, yeah. So it looks really good up here. 
It matches very nicely all through here, but holy cow, does it take a turn for the worse here. Really good all through here. You can't even see the red because the green is right on top of it. But it gets worse there. All right, well, let's let's go further and see what happens. So here's uh, x to the 19th. So I have to pick it up where we left off, and that's x to the 20th. I'm just going to go all the way to the end right now. And uh, I'm going to get all these. Copy those. Paste them into my power series there. So I go all, all up to the x to the 33rd. Now, it's not often that we get to use polynomials that are of degree 33, but here's our chance. Let's see how this looks. Again, this is looking good up here. Let's see what happens down here. Maybe we can extend this out a little farther. So what happens? Oof. Boy, that didn't get us much. <clears throat> so I look at this thing, and it uh, it looks really good from negative 1. You know, I can't really tell out here, but from negative 1 to 1. So that's, yeah, it, it only really works from negative 1 to 1. Now, that sounds vaguely familiar. But let's go back to our uh, our notebook and see what we can figure out. So here we are back at the notebook, and uh, we just came up with a Mathematica plot. Let's go to full screen. And uh, it looked something like this. 10.7, Mathematica demo. All right, slide that up there. So... Here we decided it, it, it matches really nicely all along here. Uh, but out here, ah, man, it, it, it just kind of failed. Uh, so it, it, it seems to work well. Um, for values of x between negative 1 and x and 1. It works well there. But uh, I know this is, you know, if I go back over here, it looks like this geometric series. And I kind of wrote this common ratio as x and the sum should be this thing. But wait a minute. This formula here only works um, for, so for geometric series. We need the common ratio to be between negative 1 and 1. So it makes sense that this um, this series from n equals 0 to infinity x of n equals 1 over 1 minus x only for the common ratio, or x, x or r, is between negative 1 and 1. And really, kind of what I, it's not so much an equals sign, but I'm going to say this equals sign here is, um, it's not equals, but how about converges to? Converges to. So this series of powers of x, this power series in x, converges to this function only when x falls in this domain here, or this, uh, this interval. Okay, so we call that, we've got a name for that, it is called an interval. And it's uh, going to be back in black. <clears throat> um, this is called the interval of... Of convergence. The interval of convergence. So what values of x work to make this work and, and 